The first one, as I mentioned, was was it on the original site? Second question asked was who in the heck was Jacob Kircher, and why do we honor him and single him out for recognition? Uh, a little bit of background on him. He and his wife, Margaret, moved here from Pennsylvania in 1806, and he built this two-story log home right adjacent to the Miami River. He had ten kids. He was a very active person back in those days. Eight of them were girls, and one of the daughters, Elizabeth, was reportedly the first white child born in what would become Miamisburg. And one of the other daughters, I think two of the other daughters, we have actually their, their uh, baptismal records in our archives of the other building that proves absolutely uh, when they came into being in, in that family. He was a farmer, and he owned a large tract of land, uh, quite a number of acres between Miamisburg and West Carrollton, mainly north of town. And he was... Uh, he was very good to the community. He donated land for the town square, which is the area that the Market Square building sits on, the first schoolhouse in Miamisburg in 1818, uh, St. Jacob's Church and the cemetery adjacent to it. And later on, he built the huge house that served as city uh, headquarters for time. We, we call it the Weber House. There's a school and a street named for Mr. Kircher on the north end of town. And a very important date, February 20th, 1818, he along with Emmanuel Gebhardt and Dr. John, Dr. Peter Treon, planted out and sold lots in the town that they called Miamisburg. So we're nearing, folks, our 200th anniversary of Miamisburg in another nine years. Today, uh, I want